Alright, this video is going to go over solving for equilibrium price and quantity after a shift in demand or supply, or in this particular problem, both. So we begin with our demand function, and our supply function shows quantity demanded as a function of price. So here, quantity demanded is 500 units minus 2 times the value of P, gives us a downward sloping demand curve. Our supply function is negative 400 plus 4P. So that gives us the upward sloping supply curve. And here we're going to say what happens if quantity demanded at every price level or every unit price increase by 10. And that's just a shift in the demand curve, a shift right, an increase in demand. Now what if the amount supplied also increased, sorry about that, by 5 units? So the amount supplied increased by 5 units regardless of the price level. So we can say that maybe incomes went up, an increase in demand, and maybe technology get better, got better, an increase in supply. So the trick to these problems is taking this shift value and putting it into the intercept term. And really it's as simple as that. So our new functions are going to be QD and then instead of 500 it's going to be 510 minus 2P and so that makes the intercept larger and shifts out the demand curve. With the supply we also add the value because it's an increase in supply so now we have a smaller negative number so it's negative 395 plus 4p. Right, so before our equilibrium quantity was 200 and our equilibrium price was 150. Now we can solve for the new equilibrium quantity and price after this shifts by setting the two functions equal to each other. Or 510 minus 2p equals negative 395 plus 4p. First we can add 395 to both sides to get rid of it on this side. Ends up giving us 9 05 on this side, add 2p to both sides, so that ends up giving us 6p. And now we have to divide both sides by 6p, and that ends up giving us an equilibrium price of 150.833. We can plug this into either of these functions and we end up getting a new equilibrium quantity of 208.33 and you'll notice the equilibrium quantity goes up quite a bit and that's because both the demand and the supply curve shifted right boom boom new supply curve new demand curve. So equilibrium quantity definitely goes up, but what happens to equilibrium price? We don't know, but since we have the math, we do know equilibrium price has actually gone up. And the reason equilibrium price went up is because the magnitude of the shift in the demand curve was greater than the magnitude in the shift of the, de of the supply curve. So remember the magnitude of the demand change was 10, which is greater than 5, the magnitude of the supply change. And so you can confirm which shift was bigger or what happens to equilibrium price by actually doing this math and comparing those values.